It took them five years, but 12 countries have finally agreed to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which means 98% of all their tariffs on goods, services and resources will be slashed. Here's five things you need to know. It's not just another free trade agreement. The TPP doesn't just cut tariffs, but brings in common regulation, so businesses aren't dealing with different rules in every country. External tribunals for companies who don't trust their trade partners' courts. And intellectual property deals. The big boys were left out. China and India weren't at the party. Some say deliberately to contain China's influence in the Pacific. Aussie service providers are our big winners. Australia's educated and technical services providers such as mining company Wally Parsons or universities such as UTS will have access to new markets, simpler rules and lower tariffs across the board. The services industry currently employs 85% of Australians but only accounts for 20% of Australian exports. Our miners will also benefit thanks to lower tariffs on what they're sending to Peru and Vietnam. Tech giants win. Global technology giants like Google and Uber will no longer need local physical infrastructure in foreign markets like Australia. So the Australian government won't be allowed to force them to store customer details in local data centres. It's not quite a done deal. The TPP still needs to be ratified by various parliaments. The most difficult test could be in the United States Congress, where President Obama needs Republican support, a difficult feat, particularly before an election.